How can you rebuild your identity after you've left behind a corporate job or career? It's surprising or perhaps not so surprising how closely we link our identity to our job, the work that we do. It's the first question people ask, Kai, what do you do? And it's so easy to drop that in, isn't it? When you meet someone and say, hello, hi, what is it you do? Is it so important? Yes, we spend a lot of our time doing that work, but is it so close to our identity? Well, whether or not it is, unfortunately, that can be really difficult when we then change career, when we're made redundant, when we choose to leave a job and we then have this vacuum where we no longer have that corporate badge of honour saying, I work in this big name company, I've got this prestigious job title. And suddenly there's that emptiness and there's a bit of imposter syndrome and doubt that creeps in. I think, who am I if I'm just me? Don't worry, we can rebuild that identity and we're not starting from scratch. We still have those experiences, that expertise, the skills, the knowledge. Even if you're going into a different direction, going into a different industry or starting a business working for yourself, you can still absolutely leverage those transferable skills, experiences and stories. Look at those experiences and that expertise through the filter of this new thing that you're now doing and you can tell a really compelling story as to the journey you've been on. And in fact, that background is exactly what makes you so unique, what makes you so differentiated to other people, so strong and compelling in this new thing that you're about to do. So yes, it does take some time, it takes some work to get clear on who you are now, but it's so important, I think so empowering to let go of, to shed that mantle of, I'm just this person in this company. When I used to go to conferences before I left my job, the big company name on my business card would ensure that people would come and talk to me thinking that I could hire them as agencies or individuals and so on. And although that wasn't really the case even, it was something I clung to and I quite liked it and it strokes my ego. And of course, then when I became just one of the masses at these conferences where I was one of many freelancers, consultants, independent people, suddenly I didn't have that to cling on to. And I was a little bit lost at sea as to who I was and what I did. I struggled and we talked about elevator pitches. I struggled to define exactly what I did. Coach seemed so wishy-washy compared to sort of consultant, which I clung on to for a long time. Mentor I've toyed with. Um, I've got the business and branding background to leverage. And in fact, that has helped me to rebuild my identity by leveraging my background, by keeping that expertise, building a story around those foundation elements while also layering on the new narrative around the coaching, around the values and mission that I have now, thanks to the different experiences I've gone through of leaving my job and crafting my new business model and personal brand and so on. So if you're at that moment to think, oh my goodness, if I'm not job title at company name, then who am I? Don't worry, it's completely natural. We've been in that career, we've been on that you know journey, that ladder as it were, for years, if not decades. And it is going to be a bit of a metamorphosis. Remember that butterfly who has the metamorphosis? They actually dissolve into a protein soup. They have to reconstitute themselves from the mush that they've become once they've been that larva and then become that beautiful butterfly. And that's exactly what you will do too as you begin to piece together and craft and curate and build that new brand, that new identity and that new business or career direction. If you'd like my help with doing just, just that, I'd encourage you to come and join us over in the Business Incubator, which is taking you really through that transition from being in your corporate identity or corporate role right through to having the confidence and the income from your first clients in running your own business and everything that entails. You could read more at onestepoutside.com forward slash nine to five. Those are the numbers, nine to five. Onestepoutside.com forward slash nine to five.